I'm going to show you how to make a stamp um, using a Boolean modifier. So the first thing you want to do with this uh, default cube, we're just going to turn this into a larger flatter block. So I'm going to go down to my transform tool and change to the scale. And I will squish my block down a little bit and spread it out to the right and left. Next, I'm going to press A to deselect the square, and I'm going to press Shift A to add another object, and this time I'm going to choose text. Uh, once I have my text object, I'm just going to go back to the Transform Move tool, lift up my text a little bit, and I am going to press RX90 to rotate, or sorry, RZ90 to rotate it. RZ90. And that rotates it 90 degrees around the Z axis. And now this text is fine, but I want to actually change what it says. So if I press tab with the text selected, I go into edit mode and I can delete the letters that are there. And I'm just going to change the letters to love learning. You can have text appear on multiple lines just by hitting return. So I'm going to go here press backspace, and then press return. So now I've got my love learning. Now I'm going to tab back into object mode, and over on the right side, uh, you can see that we have uh, font tools. So under the font tools, I can choose extrude, and I can just drag this until I get it to a depth that I like. You also have lots of other um, ways of modifying your, te your text. Um, and I am going to uh, just choose one thing, which is to go ahead and center it. Um, and that's all I'm going to use. But you can add fonts uh, and do all kinds of things. Uh, okay, so now I actually want this text to be a little bit bigger in my block. So I'm going to press S to go into scale mode, and I'm just going to pull it up a little bit. And then I'm going to use this transform tool here to just drag it down so that it's sitting into the block. Look again from the top. Yeah, that looks okay. And then I will go ahead and um, change this. Right now this uh, text is a text object which doesn't interact properly with meshes. So we need to turn it into a mesh. So to do that, in object mode, um, with the text selected, if you press Alt-C, you can choose to make a curve from mesh or text, or you can choose to make a mesh from text. And we want to turn this into a mesh, so we'll go ahead and click that. So now this is a mesh object. Now if I uh, make sure that I've got my text stuck into my block, and then I uh, select my block, and I go over here to the um, modifier tools. Uh, and here I can just click add a modifier. And I'm going to choose a Boolean modifier. And specifically, I want actually to do a difference, which means that it will remove um, anything that's uh, um, the Okay, so here, sorry, here, I select another object that I'm talking about. And my text, by the way, is called text because that's how it gets imported naturally. And so what I want to do is I want to take the difference between these two, the, between the block and the text object, and I want to remove that difference. So um, when I press apply, now I can uh, select my text and click and drag to lift it up and you can see that I actually have made the stamp. So now I have a, I'm just going to press control and zoom in. So now I have a love learning stamp just right there beautifully on my object. And that's how you can make a stamp using the Boolean difference modifier.